here we are again. Now it's been a while since I uh, did any videoing for you, uh, probably about two and a half weeks actually. So um, I just I just made a little start on it yesterday, finished off the background, which is great. It's great to get that finished with. And um, I just did a little few bits and pieces on his face to get me into the swing of it again. So I'll just show you what I've just done. So I use my nice orange red pencil. I like this one. Uh, so what I did was um, I did all this bit here. I'll leave the um, Vaseline off for a minute. I did all this bit here. I put some more orange in here, in that bit there. I put a bit more black on here. I did a few little, tiny little marks. Got something in here, you see. It's just, it's more bluey actually. So I'll, I'll get that going a bit later. Um, and don't, not touched his nose. Got more to do on his nose. Got to get blue in there. I did a few bits here, up here, and I did, sort of rub the black over a bit. Um, in fact, I just did this. I left this bit just to show you. Just rub the black over, just to give it a bit more of a, a little base there. And I'm gonna get the lilac colors on there and some grays. There's some black streaks through them then. Um, I think that's what I'm gonna do anyway. We'll just see how it goes. Uh, then, you know, Done nothing to the ear, haven't touched the ear yet, it's nowhere near finished. Uh, didn't touch any of this, I've just done little bits, hardly any on here. But I did what I did use is I use this little um, little stick here. Um, it's a lovely rusty brown colour. Uh, I think it's a Faber Castell one, I can't remember now. But anything that's really rusty brown, just this kind of colour. Uh, it was really nice actually because you can do really nice thin lines and I just sort of, sort of put, put some bits through in here and then I just swept it up like that or I just went over those rusty bits with, with the uh, pencil. It just smooths them out a bit. Um, so yeah, that's what I want to carry on today. So I want to just carry on with this bit here, get that bit more creamy looking, get some cream in there and you know, there are some darker lines through there that give the cream that hairy look um, because the cream is underneath, if you remember. And then just we'll tackle a few bits around here, I think, today. Okay, so I'm just going to stop the video now and then I'll be back in a sec. Um, so we're going to now just make, just try and get this rusty effect in here. We'll just tackle this bit next. I've done little bits on this here and a little bit under here. Uh, a a teeny bit up here. I also use this um, little stick, which I think is a Dela Round, not a Dela Round, a um, Faber-Castell, a little stick. And it's gorgeous. It's got really lovely rusty colours. I'll probably use that a bit more and I'll, I'll show you how I've used it. I put it in here a little bit, just just to darken this up near his dark bit in his eye. Um, yeah, I really like this little stick, it's very good. And, you know, I'm, uh, again, I just reiterate, I'm going for the really intense look because I like that in my pictures. I don't know why I like it, but I like it. I just like colour. Okay, so we've got the cream on pretty well. So I'll just put cream back in this little container there. I've put some not fairly sharp points on here, but they're not overly sharp as you can see. So the idea is that we've got the cream on, then we're going to do go over with um, little streaks of these colours. We're just going to use the little streaks. I don't have to copy it as exactly, just that kind of idea that we're going to have some very light bits in there and some very, um, you know, very nice bright colours. So you can see I'm not covering it up entirely. I'm just going over with it lines. And you should see a difference, but you won't see a massive difference. So this is just the lovely orangey going over the green. All these little black lines I've put in here 
um, they're really coming into their own now. Um, maybe at the end we'll make them a little bit creamier, but I quite like them like that actually. They look nice and thin. And... So we're not going to be going, got a little bit of more red in here. So we'll go in there a bit, just there. There's some little bits coming in through there. Then we've got the colours coming through here. The other thing I did was I did a bit more on here, put a bit more black on and put some little blue streaks in. But as you can see, they're much brighter in here, look. They need to be a bit brighter, so I'll go a bit stronger on with them because I quite like those. They're nice. slightly. That's these little bits here, these three bits there. So just a looking at where the hair's coming down. Very, very light touch. Hardly touching it at all with a pencil. These are nice sort of long streaky bits here. mad on this bit because as you can see they're quite light a lot of these. Well this way we'll get some streaks of light left in it. just changes the colour. Just these tiny little streaks. Now we've got some orangey colours here so we'll just, for the minute we'll just put them in like this. See, as you can see, I'm not paying loads of attention to this. I'm just getting the streaks on. I slightly changed the shape of this because it was too bulky. Um, that's why I went over and did the black here. And I've, I've done a little bit down here. red, orangey red streaks in there, tiny little glints of white in there. You can see that just putting the or you know the orangey colour in here is quite effective. But these bits I've left from before, we'll, we'll get those in very very gently there. Just rub that black in there a bit. So I also mark these lines in again, so it's going to be cut off here, just like the picture really. So I'm just doing a few more changes. There. Okay, so I've got all those in. I'm going to leave all that fairly light there, because we can get some dark lines through there and it will make it look streaky, I think. Just wipe my hand off a bit. Okay, that's just going to put this over side and on this. Don't want to muck up that um, background I spent so long on. I would like to do a 
bit more with sticks actually, but in a more, I'd like to use them in a more free way. Yeah, to copy this design in the back and get all the colours was it was it wasn't difficult, it was just time, very time consuming. I certainly wouldn't want to put you through any more of that. Don't think we need to go there anymore. Just looking at that over there. Just looking at the way the hairs are going. really see that that's very just looking at patches and direction of fur that's all and that should be lighter there so look, just literally rub it out there the finger it's got to come up like that that's quite good line and then it's coming like that just trying to put in all the bits I particularly like. And don't want to lose those little bits because they're they are interesting. and loose with these hairs as long as you get the effect that's fine because you you know it's nice to get the effect but you don't want it to look like um, as soon as you get involved in trying to copy every hair it's going to look very lifeless because you know for start animals have got a bit, a bit more going on haven't they um you know they're moving about all the time the hair's moving about they never look the same um the, the hair's changing all the time it won't matter if you don't get everything dead on and i would say don't don't even try and do that because you won't, you won't get such a nice picture I want to capture that animal's life and character. In a way, you know, you're not doing you're not doing still life. So just keep that in mind when you're doing your animals. Yeah. Just streaks of red through here. We need to get that more, more energy through there. So we won't put so much red in, but we will need the streaks in. Just getting all these diff these three colours, we're getting all these different shades. And then we've got little marks coming through here. But it's quite light.
on ultra pierces ending like that so just do that for that and then they're going on underneath okay just you know just carry on like that just do that so you should get all these different nuances of color in a nice simple way Now we've got some black coming through here, so just put the red on and then they'll, they'll come nice and colourful through there. We want that red on the roots there, just to... And that's... it's quite dark in there, but maybe a touch intense. Maybe a touch too intense there. A little bit carried away. That's what happened. And you know, we've got some reds coming through here, but not a lot. There's some silvery, some silvery in the in between there. And kind of goes through there. It's nice. some black in there to give it that kind of effect there. Black streaks there. Same as we've got here. So just looking at this carefully now. Yeah, that's coming through here. way through it and a little bit at a time just try and do a little bit at a time then when you finish doing it just then step back and take an overview of what you've done and you'll be able to see if you need to do any other colouring or anything afterwards and these bits here I think we'll change this because I've done this bit wrong here so they're coming down too much we'll just put some black over there and you know these bits here they're, they're far too thick aren't they so we'll just we'll just blacken them off a bit just rub it out with your finger just give you an idea of, okay that needs to do that and then you know we'll put we'll put those red streaks in even though you can't see these very well they will they will give it a nice effect we'll do that after and that's kind of that bit there then we've got these bits coming like that. Then we've got this patch here. Then this is this bit. All these colours coming up there. But that's going to be streaked with dark. And then we've got this patch here coming over. And you can see that's that bit there. And this is coming over like that. So we could just put that in for now. It's going to come right through there. And then these are these. 
which we've only just done, actually. But get nice and free with your marks. Try and, you know, try and, you're not drawing, you're just, you're just having a bit of fun, really. Just think of it that way. You're not really trying to draw every hair. Just get some life into it. All sorts of streaks go through here. Now this, this is this bit here, you see? That bit there. And then these are those two bits there. I've marked them out quite strongly there so we don't lose our, our way. Now we've got a line coming, a, li a line of there. That's coming like that. And then these can come around like that. And that's coming down there. And then we've got these, we've got some streaky bits coming through here like that. You can see it's much longer this hair, so longer streaks. And, you, know, you can go much heavier down here because it's dark. And the light hairs that we put on, we put on after they'll sharp nicely. going to stop for a minute and see if my little thing works. <laughs> 